Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. You know, we love the Ozarks Literacy Council, and they have a trivia night coming up that's Little Italy Trivia Night. So joining us now are Amy Jardell with the Ozarks Literacy Council, Larry Grace from Neighborhood Pizza Cafe, and Jeremy Hill from Domino's. Jeremy, can I just say you have a great name? Oh, thank you. Jeremy is an award-winning, <laughs> solid name, yeah. stand-up citizens. I should know. That's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So tell us, what is Little Italy Trivia Night? Little Italy Big Trivia is our 18th annual trivia night fundraiser for Ozark Literacy Council. It's one of the main um, income generating fundraisers that we have. It brings together um, teams of 8 to 10 to answer some trivia questions. And it brings out a little friendly competition between some of the teams. But uh, we always have a great time. And uh, this year we're featuring our Pizza Impossible champions as part of the meal that we're providing with your ticket. I love that they're part of it because it's Little Italy Big Trivia. And Jen John Meyer and I judged this competition last year. So I feel we had a hand in picking the winners. You did, yeah. yeah. So you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's start with Neighborhood Pizza. Tell us a little bit about your business and what pizza you brought in. Well, uh, Neighborhood Pizza has been around for uh, a little over 15 years. Um, we have been in the Pizza Pasta Bowl for 10 years, mm -hmm. and we've won all 10 of those years. Are you so, kidding me? So people like our pizza. There's something about it. Um, but yeah, um, today I brought in a pepperoni. I'm going to open pizza. this because I want the people to see this at home. Look at this beautiful, beautifulness. Look at this. What is this again? This is just pepperoni and sausage. It's classic. We have an edge pizza. It goes all the way to the edge, so you, we don't want people to waste any pizza. So there's people who don't like, let's say, the crust, which I Some love the crust. Times, yeah. How, is that a different technique to make this pizza without the, you know, the thick crust around the edge? No, we just push the toppings to the edge. That's you all. just, oh, that's, you're learning inside information here. I like that. This looks so delicious. Now, Jeremy Domino's. I'm guessing you won the uh, the big chain division. Yeah, yeah, and, and we've we've won in the past for other kinds of pizza, pan pizza, and such. I brought some pizza this morning too. Um, we're kind of the, often thought of as the delivery guys, um, but we have uh, you know, we have some really cool new stores. If you haven't had a chance to see them, National and Cherry. We just finished that one, and it is a beautiful, beautiful store. Um, you should get by and check out the lobby and the drive through and all of so that. So are all the dominoes going through this transition? Uh, almost all of them. We, we've updated many of them in the last few years, but some of them, uh, East Sunshine and uh, National and Cherry Street, Kearney Street, um, brand new buildings, some freestanding buildings, and they're really beautiful. And you serve so much more than just pizza now then, correct? Oh, yeah. We've got sandwiches and pasta and uh, several bread sides, wings, of course, desserts, drinks. Yeah. What I love to see is two pizza companies side by side supporting each other and supporting the Ozarks Literacy Council. I love this because, you know, you're technically in business, you're in competition, but I love seeing you're working together for a great cause. Yeah. These yeah. guys are amazing. They're very, very supportive of OLC and have been for years. So yeah. We appreciate them. So what can people expect at, at uh, Big tri Little Italy Big Trivia? <laughs> Can't get that in my hand. <laughs> well, we don't want to forget the macaroni and cheese yes. from Springfield Brew Co. Uh, their representative wasn't able to be here this morning, so we wanted to make sure that that was here with us. It is award-winning, and they uh, combine it with four different cheeses. It did win our pasta competition and Pizza Impossible this year, and they will be part of the meal that will, will be included in your ticket price. Can I dig in? Because yes, I actually please was, do. <laughs> I was actually one of the judges for the pasta as well, and... Man alive, it was so good last year. It was very hard to judge because pizzas and pastas are each unique in their own way. It's kind of like trying to pick your favorite child mm -hmm. right. because they're all good. Who doesn't love a good slice of pizza? Right, right. Yes. So this is from Spring Springfield Brew Co. Yep, mm. it is. Yep. And this was their first time entering our competition this year for Pizza Bowl, and they came out on top. So, so they should enter again this year. Absolutely, they should enter again. <laughs> yeah. So at Trivia Night, we'll have um, teams of 8 to 10 competing in eight rounds of trivia questions varying from... Uh, music, sports, uh, geography, uh, weird war stories, and there's some different categories made it unique and fun, and they've got some great um, category names just to kind of amp it up a little bit. We've got some really fun games we're going to be playing in between rounds. So uh, it's from 5.30, check-in starts at 5.30, games start at 6.30, from 6.30 to 9. It's just a great big fun evening to come out and support OLC. I love that. I saw a glass of wine on your poster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that drinking is allowed and available? Yes. Yeah, we're going to be at the Oasis, and there will be a cash bar there, so absolutely. That's perfect. Some Italian food. Now you're in. And now now I'm in. I saw the glass of wine. I was like, oh, I'm in. <laughs> I love that. So much fun going on. And is the, all the trivia 
Italian themed or no? The names for each category are Italian themed, uh -huh. and there there will be a few Italian questions or Italian answers thrown in there. Mm -hmm. But um, we wanted to make sure that it applies to everyone, and everyone who's got a general trivia knowledge should be challenged and have a good time. Right now, you, this is raising money for you. So, what are the ticket prices? Ticket prices are twenty-five dollars a piece, or twenty-five or two hundred fifty dollars for a table, and a table is eight to ten players. And with that, you get everything. And with that, you get your meal. And uh, you get that, your choice of tea or water, and then our board members bring in desserts that are actually auctioned off. Oh, so, yeah. So they're homemade. Some of them are homemade, some of them are store bought, but they're all amazing. And then, of course, the funds we raise go to our amazing programs at OLC. So perfect. Now I do want to try each one of. I'm, I'm just going to move over here sure. because I feel like neighborhood pizza, Domino's. I just need to get a little bite of each one. Not that I'm judging you guys because you, you're already award winners. Right, right, right. I just want a taste. Of the amazing food. Now, tell me one more time at Neighborhood Pizza. Strictly pizza, or do you offer other things? We offer other things. We have pasta and we have salads. Mm -hmm. People rave about our salads as well. I remember we your also, salad. We also have sandwiches. You know, uh, they're customizable. You know, people order sandwiches there, and they're kind of like Domino's, where you build your sandwich from there. Look at you! T the the yeah. harmony in this yeah. place today. Yeah. I we, love were, it. we were neighbors at the pizza ball, so. We're oh, yeah. oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm digging into some Domino's. I like me some Supreme. Is this the Supreme? I'm guessing, right? We call it an extravaganza. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. One more time, the date and the time of the event. The date is Thursday, August 29th at 5.30 p.m. at the Ramada Oasis. Oh, wow. Now, here's what's fun. They're sticking around because we're going to learn more about the Ozarks Literacy Council coming up. And since they're having a trivia night, we thought it would be fun to play a few rounds of trivia <laughs> with all of them and include friend of show... New board member to the Ozarks Literacy Council, Jen John Meyer, one of our favorite people to ever grace the Ozarks Fox AM stage. So will you guys stick around? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, don't go anywhere. More fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this as I shove my face full of pizza. Oh, so good. All of them. Oh, my God. Have you guys tried that pasta? It is so good.